This is what it's all about. Stop recording. Stop video. Cease and desist. It don't end. Hi guys. Welcome back. I'm out again. It feels like an eternity since I was out last. Um, I'm on Dartmoor um, near Widgery Cross, which is up there. You can see it. I think that's it there. Um, been here once before. Went over Widgery Cross and camped up near uh, Brat's Hall, where it was gale force winds, and it's. Not much different today. I think this is probably the windiest part of Dartmoor. Um, it's really blowing quite heavily, but it's nice. It's boiling and hot. It's lovely warm. Um, got a few new bits of kit to test out today. I have a new bag. So uh, this was sent out to me. It's a Van Gogh uh, Ozone 40, 40 litre pack. I must admit, I was a bit concerned that I'd get my gear into a 40 litre pack, having had a OEX 7080 and then a, the Nature Hike Rock Series 60 plus 5. And it was always full. But it's gone in absolutely fine. I think it's like anything, it's like you know, you go from a three bed house to a five bed house, you still fill it full of rubbish. You live to your means, don't you? To your extent. So when there's more space in the bag, you just put more rubbish in it. Um, so yeah, giving this a try out. Not doing a huge hike today, but um, I'm going to try and camp down by a river that I saw uh, on my last trip that I was here before. Um, it was a lovely little spot, and I think in this weather it's going to be stunning next to it. Hopefully, I'll be inundated with midges. But yeah, I've got a few bits to try out this time. Um, I have uh, my sleep mat that I got from Hedu, 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 um, which obviously I laid on in the in my tent in the review of it, but I've not used it yet. But it's I'm quite impressed with it. The pack size is really small. It's lighter than my current one. It's not as thick. It's got a big pillow on it, and uh, I like that because my pillow just no matter what I do with it, it slides off. So um, looking forward to trying that. Um, also, shout out to Outdoor Gear Essentials. Um, Cole, he sent me the uh, foam mat, the light AF um, mat. So again, I tried that out on the, uh, on the review, but I've got it today. So I'll try it underneath the, um, the sleep mat to see how it works in regards to it slipping. I don't need anything for warmth tonight. It's forecasting a chilly low of around 20 degrees, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, certainly won't need any R rating mats for that. Um, he's also sent me out this uh, water bottle clip, not the water bottle, but the holder. Um, my nature hike has got a, a little pocket on it, which I put my bottle in, and uh, I like it. It's handy, I'm used to it. And this one doesn't have one, so he sent me out this clip to try. So it's a, just a smart watch, well, not a smart water bottle, it's a bottle clip holder. So you can just pull it off. I say that. So it pings off, you just got a rubber band that goes around it. A bit like a wrist strap, you know, the sort of charity type wrist straps that you get. Um, and then a little clip and you can put it on your belt. So you could hang it around your waist or put it on the shoulder strap, whichever you want. So yeah, it's quite handy because I do like carrying another bottle with me. And at the moment, my bag's full and I haven't got any pockets to put it in, which I didn't have before in my uh, nature hike either, so that's not a downside to the bag. It's just me carrying too much stuff. Right, I'm just going to check and see where I am. I should be just dropping down the other side of this hill. You can't hear them now because of the wind, but I'm sure I heard them earlier on, but I think just about there somewhere is the firing ranges. So I'm not going to be far from them. I'm not in the area that's ruled out, so I should survive the night. There, yeah, might hear, hear those going off during the evening. 
Hello, we got a punch up here. No, no, chickened out. Go on, get it. I hadn't planned for this. It's a lot narrower than what it looks, I think. <laughs> if I don't come back, that's where I'll be. It's bad enough when uh, idiots come down here and start fires on Dartmoor, as it is, but uh, to start a fire and fail just shows how dim they are, doesn't it? It's not difficult. There's people like this that absolutely ruins it for everyone else. They're starting talking about banning certain places in uh, Dartmoor, more places, and there's a, a vote going on or a meeting with the council um, to stop wild campers coming out and ruining the countryside. The problem is, wild campers do what we're supposed to do. Leave no trace, don't start fires, no barbecues, no groups, single tents, maximum of two or three people, we do it properly. We do what we're supposed to do. And as it stands, the people that are causing all these damages, all the damage and camping where you're not supposed to camp, right on the edge of a road, in restricted areas where you're not supposed to camp, they're breaking the rules and the laws anyway. So banning wild camping in certain places altogether, it's only going to affect us law-abiding people. So it's only us guys who are true wild campers who practice the codes and ethics of wild camping and look after our you know, beautiful countryside. We're going to be penalised because of idiots who will continue to do it. So when they do ban us and us law abiding wild campers stop going wild camping in Dartmoor, the Benidorm bunch will still be out here getting drunk, having barbecues, starting fires, leaving litter because they're breaking the law anyway, they don't care. And it's sad. 
Okay, I think I found my spot. It's a squeeze. I'm gonna try and get it in here. Now this uh, Van Gogh Ozone 40 is designed like the, um, the Ospreys, the levity packs with the, the mesh to give you airflow through your back. Um, maybe it's just me, but my back feels drenched. A little tip to get your uh, the Lanchan pitched well. Ideally, have a footprint and use that because that will give you the basic basis for uh, the tent itself, um, and it'll allow you to set the pegs out correctly. The problem is, if you put the pegs in these ropes here, they need to be running at the angle that the seam goes up the tent at. And when you put them in initially, uh, they're all ski width because you put one in and then if you pull that side tight, it goes at an odd angle and then you've got to readjust them all. So if you just put the pegs in through these little holes here, first off, until you get it right, until it's flat. It doesn't look that flat here because I've got some high grass underneath it, but that'll squash down. Uh, and then take the peg out and then put it through the lead guy out there so that it's run diagonally straight across the middle. So um, I wanted to camp up by somewhere by a river today uh, for a few reasons. One, I didn't really want to, I didn't want to do a massive hike. Um, I've got work in the morning and I didn't want to be up on a tour and having to carry another couple of litres of water with me. So being near water, it's also nearer to walk, even though I've gone about another mile further than what I was aiming to, to find a spot. Um, but I just wanted something somewhere that was idyllic and calm and quiet apart from the uh, <laughs> very high winds that are coming through. Um, but also, um, I've got a new uh, water filter, so of the Katadin B3. So I'm gonna test that out this evening as well with some coffees, so that'll be handy. I haven't got to bring a bigger pouch either because I'm sitting so close to the water. and just fill it up as and when. Makes life a lot easier. The sun's breaking through. It's been a very hot walk down here. As I got to the bottom though, the uh, clouds came over that uh, it's a bit patchy at the moment. It's forecasting possible rain in the morning. Sadly, I'm hoping it does because I want to try out my new um, sack in the Mac to see how good that is. I've had a chance to get it out in the wet yet. We've had like two, three weeks of, of bone dry weather, so I haven't had a chance to, to try out my new wet stuff, sod's law. Anyway, I'm just going to chill out here by the river and uh, enjoy my Thatcher's Haze. Cheers, guys. So what I meant to say there was Mac in a sack. I know I'll probably look like a sack in a Mac, uh, but it's a Mac in a sack, not a sack in a Mac. Oh, oh my good God. The things I do for my wife. So I was sitting there thinking, I've got zero signal. My phone is showing emergency calls only. I've got my work phone as well. That's showing one bar of nothing. And I haven't texted my wife to say where I am or that I've got here, or I'm okay, and she does worry, so I always text. So I thought I'd take a little walk. Got about 200 yards. It's all bog. Horrible, horrible walk, bog. And um, I've got like one bar of 4G message wouldn't send, so I thought I'm going in the right direction, kept going, kept going, emergency service calls only. So I kept going as far as I could to a point where I just couldn't go any further and there was no signal at all, so I thought right I'll turn around. So I went off that way, I then headed back that way, same thing, kept getting a flash of 4G, signal, well message wouldn't go through. So I kept on walking, kept on walking, and what turned out to be, well, what was supposed to be a short little walk down to the river, chilled out and relaxing. I've just done another three miles on top of what I wanted to do, all across boggy land, and then up the side 
of the valley that I went the long way around to get here. Virtually back to the car park to get two bars of 4G where my signal finally sent. So now I'm knackered, sweaty and hungry. Okay, so food tonight. I've got um, two of these soba teriyaki. I am sober, I've only had one can. Uh, noodles. They come with two little pouches inside, uh, like a herb pouch and, uh, and some sauce, teriyaki sauce. So uh, yeah, get them bowled up. Looking forward to that, I'm pretty hungry. So I see a huge amount of good reviews on the uh, Katadin B3. I was, must admit my soya squeeze is struggling a bit on the flow rate. It works fine, um, but it is a bit slow. Everyone says about how good these are and how quick these are. Um, I've also seen a few reports that they slow down um, over a period of time, so it'd be interesting to see how well this works in comparison. But uh, this is my first use of it, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, yeah, the flow rate is massively quicker. That's just about enough that I need for my noodles. Yeah, that's well quick. Very impressed. Let's just hope it stays like that. This is a pretty cool little lighter. It's one of your one pound ones out of a petrol station, but it's, uh, it's got jet. I don't know if you can see that. And it's quite windy at the moment and it doesn't seem to go out. So it'd be interesting to see how well this lights the, uh, the stove. There you go, straight off. One pound bargain. Okay, that's boiled really quickly. So basically, you have the noodles. You have a sachet of vegetables, so make you feel a bit healthier, and then the uh, teriyaki sauce. So we break these up into the pot. And then boil them until the water's gone. Got to say, you had the vegetables at the same time. Mmm, vegetables. Nourishing. And there's a confusing bit that says, cook them until the water is almost gone. It didn't say boil them. And I'm not sure what the difference is between cook and boil. I'll turn it down a bit so it's just simmering. We shall see. Smells good though. Even with just the chunky vegetables. Right, and the water is pretty much gone. So time for the sauce. Two lots of noodles, two lots of sauce. One pack is never enough, is it? Well, it's not for me anyway. I'm very impressed with this little BRS 3000T fake copy stove. It does boil really quickly and it works extremely well with this fire maple pot. If you haven't seen my review on it, I'll uh, stick it up in the screen there or there or somewhere. Very cheap, 
the whole setup was about 30 quid and weighs just over 200 grams and it's a one litre pot as well so there's plenty of space to do big meals like this one huge pot of noodles and not a pot noodle in sight hmm that's pretty good actually Right, it's tasty. Can't really tell the vegetables are in there, but I suppose it all helps, doesn't it? Go and enjoy these. Won't force you to watch it. So I'll just show you my setup while I'm here. The obligatory pigsty in the porch. And tonight it's not cold. I'm just going with the OEX EV 300s. Get out, fly. I'll do this quick before they all come in. There's no mozzies or midges around tonight, but there's, uh, there's quite a few wasps. I think it's the wind is keeping the rest of them away. So I've got, yeah, the OEX EV300 and my cheap little Eurohike five pound pillow, uh, which is really comfy, I'll just stick it in the hood. And my new mat. So it'll be interesting to see what that is like. As you can see, it is huge, reaches both ends. I always keep the bag there, it's just that next to me. I don't leave it in the vestibule, just leave space out here for my chair and my shoes. Um, other than that, go Lighthouse Zero. So this is the first time I've used the um, Fire Maple pot for actual cooking in. Um, I've just used it for boiling water in. And obviously with those um, noodles, you are supposed to boil the water off completely. So there's none left. I, mean, I was a bit worried about it being burnt onto the bottom. Uh, I've finished the noodles, it was huge. Two of those is too much. Just a litre of noodles, it is a lot. So I did struggle. Um, and I've just washed the pot out. And it, at the bottom of it, there was, you know, burnt on noodles. And um, I've literally just used my J cloth behind here, wiped it round, and it's absolutely spotless. So yeah, it's not titanium. Um, it's an anodized aluminium, um, but cleans up really well. I was quite impressed with that. Good bargain. Right, I've refilled the B3. Time to get a coffee on. My uh, favourite time of the evening. God, that's bright. Chill out with a cup of coffee in the dark. So I haven't done any um, time lapses or sunsets. There isn't really a sunset, there hasn't been one. There has been, but across the other side of the hill. I'm down in the valley, so I didn't think I'd ever get to see anything anyway. Um, but it's a, it's a beautiful spot. It's still quite windy, the trees are creaking above me. They've probably been sitting there for a hundred years, so hopefully they won't choose tonight to collapse. But yeah, I'm just going to have my coffee and uh, chill out for a bit before bed. So uh, I forgot to mention, this is my first time with the three season dinner uh, in my lunch end, so I'm all meshed up at the moment. Um, should be fine tonight, it's a bit of a breeze, but um, it's very, very warm, so it should work perfectly for me. It's about half past nine now, so uh, I'm going to get an early night, early start in the morning. I won't be up for sun, well, I'll be up before sunrise, so uh, I don't know if I'll see much, but um, I'll have a good night, hopefully, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Um, it's six o'clock. It's still dark. The sun doesn't rise for another half hour. Um, I'm going to get a cup of coffee on there. Get an early start. 
Um, I had a good night. The um, I'm quite impressed with the the bat, the mats. It's um, it stayed up solid. It hasn't gone down. Um, never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I I actually would prefer it to be about four or five inches shorter. Um, the pillow is so far up my head is, but my hair, and there's not much of it, is just about brushing the uh, the mesh inside. So yeah, it could do be a little bit shorter actually, which is very odd, because everything I go for is extra long. Right, I'm gonna get coffee on, try and wake up. So coffee number two is on the go. Um, just having breakfast, I had the uh, Adventure Food Expedition breakfast again. Uh, it's definitely my favorite breakfast. Uh, it's basically mu muesli, but pretty, pretty fruity. It's quite nice. Um, I'm gonna have a try at um, making it myself. Just because it's like five pound for a pouch, which is an insane amount of money. It is tasty and you know it's just a waste and if I can do something that's just as good from home then uh, use my foil pouches then I'll give it a go so a bit of muesli, a bit of milk powder, milk powder um, and do a bit of experimenting see how it goes um, beautiful sunrise this morning um, not so much the sun but the sky the clouds are absolutely stunning behind me um, really really nice morning it's a bit cloudy but it's not too bad no rain yet they were forecasting so uh, we shall see but I'm going to have coffee number two now and uh, chill out for a bit before I pack up so that's where I was last night leave no trace just a bit of flattened grass all cleared up please everybody do the same thing don't come out here and trash the place it's a beautiful country we live in Okay guys, so I'm going to call that an end to the video now. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. Any comments, leave them below and I'll always answer people back. Um, it's just a short video, really just a chilled out, relaxing one. I've enjoyed it and I hope you have too. I'll see you on the next one, guys.